Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Zuni rockets from the United States military for air-to-air -air and air-to-surface applications. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, fact one, since 1957. The Zuni rockets are a pretty old technology. It first entered service in the United States Air Force in 1957. Just think about the technology that existed in 1950s and how much the current world in the modern ages have leaped and bounds beyond what was available at that time. And so Zuni rockets are an ancient technology, if you will, a very old proven method of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missile system. The Zuni rockets hasn't really gone through too many upgrades. We'll get into it in later sections, but the first iteration of the Zuni rockets are the unguided rockets that pilots simply point and shoot at their targets. Because it's unguided, it's pretty much a direct line of sight weapon. And again, from the 1950s means that it was very rudimentary and limited. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2, unguided and laser guided. As I mentioned in the previous section, when the Zuni rockets was first introduced, it was a simple line of sight, straight line, unguided missile. However, because it's still currently being used today, laser guidance has been retrofitted onto these rockets. Now, for the United States operators, they can guide their rockets using a laser pointer at the front of the rocket and make sure it goes to its target in a more appropriate and accurate manner. Adding this additional guidance system makes total sense because of the technology advances that we have today. Remember, this rocket was first developed in the 1950s. Back then, color TV doesn't even exist. And so, for the rocket to be more accurate, it needed a guidance system. Because you can imagine, during the rush of war, the pilots really don't have time to aim and shoot correctly. And because the rocket can only fly in a line of sight in a straight manner, it probably had a very low accuracy count. And so with the addition of laser guidance, the rocket could be a lot more powerful and useful. Alright, fact 3, different types of warheads. The Zuni rockets are also pretty interesting and versatile in the way that they have several different types of warheads at the front. The Zuni rockets is the default high explosive where the head produces over 500 fragments that penetrates up to 30 feet distance of a 10 millimeter steel. It can be used to destroy class B armor or reinforce concrete. Another type of warhead that the Zuni rockets can carry is especially designed for anti-tank and anti-personnel applications where it can be used to penetrate the tank armor and armor personnel carriers to attack the enemy. There is also illumination and flare types where it is used mainly to light up the battlefield and not necessary to attack or destroy a target. The Zuni rocket can also carry smoke and chafe applications so that it could either become a decoy or create diversions and obscurity for the enemy so that they can't see around their targets. So therefore the Zuni rocket not only has offensive capabilities, it also has defensive capabilities. Cool, let's get into the next fact, fact 4, used extensively during the Vietnam War. As the Zuni rocket is a 1950s US technology, its first major combat use was actually in the Vietnam War. During the Vietnam War, the United States fired thousands and thousands of Zuni rockets in order to fight the Viet Cong. Because the rocket advancements and technology advancements, the later wars that's more prominent such as Gulf War, War on Terror and so forth, don't really use any Zuni rockets anymore because there are way more advanced weapons that were introduced. And so the Zuni rockets, in terms of the United States military applications, was really only proven during the Vietnam War. 
It is quite interesting to know that the Vietnam War has long since been completed, and yet the United States still contains a stockpile of Zuni rockets in the Pentagon Def Department of Defense. And so I think this is the reason why they're able to give it to Ukraine during 2023. Because they produce massive amounts of Zuni rockets for the Vietnam War and probably end up never really using them because the war was over. Again, the Zuni rockets really only seen this major combat as it's part of its proven experience. All right, let's get to the next and final fact, $400 each. An incredible part about the Zuni rockets is its low cost. With this day and age, military rockets and missiles are always a hundred thousands if not millions of dollars each. But the Zuni rockets are only $400 each back in 1980s. I'm sure the production costs have gone up since then, but it is very incredible that even back in 1980s, when weapon systems were already in the millions of dollars, that the Zuni rocket system is only $400 each. Such a low-cost weapon is definitely very useful and attractive to other operators around the world because you don't want to bankrupt your government by fighting a war. And if each rocket is only $400, you could imagine any state governments with millions and billions of money at their disposal, they could easily afford thousands and thousands of these rockets. And that is probably why the US has a surplus, because they're so cheap to manufacture during the Vietnam War. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.